I need a co-op. Yardy Harvey Beatties, and welcome to another episode on the Olympic... Wait. <coughs> <coughs> Whoa. Um, hello. Really was here. And welcome to the Olympus server. So, there's a, a pirate who thinks that our barrel meat is cruel and not a good source of food on the server. Well, let me tell you. Let's see how it compares to your, your new fancy pumpkin pies. Because as of right now, there's absolutely nowhere on the server where you can get better food cheaper than Merrill's meat. Absolutely nowhere on the server that has lower prices than Merrill's meat. Nowhere on the server. So, you think, with your new fancy pumpkin pie, that people are going to switch over to it? I don't think so. First of all, who likes pumpkin pie? Well, except for everybody, but still. I like to be have that nice full feeling whenever I what do we got here I'm sorry I just stopped okay one stack for four gold first of all look at these pricing you want people to pay in diamonds and gold and power rails and stack and quartz all I ask for is plain old iron ore stuff that you can find under your feet you just dig a couple blocks away. You can't beat that. So what do we got? Four gold. All right. We're going to give him a sale just to make him feel good. Just so he doesn't feel like all of his hard work has gone to waste. And then we're going to try this stuff out. Because, yeah. I don't know if you've ever eaten pumpkin pie, but it's almost like eating melons. you got to just eat and eat and eat. And by that time, if you're eating that much pumpkin pie... You're going to just be one step closer to diabetes. I mean, stick with the Atkins diet. Merrill's meat. In fact, let's go get some Merrill's meat. I don't actually have any on me. So with Merrill's meat, we're going to do a comparison. I'll show you just how much better Merrill's meat is compared to this new Pirate's Pumpkin Pie PPP. Okay, I will take a stack of my own meat. I'll pay me later. Uh... I will log it out. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, we got some more TNT in stock. Out one Merrill's meat. Oops. Done. Done. All right. Now let's test this. I got slabs in my face. Am I floating? I must be floating. What of you? Don't hit shift. 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 Broken window. Don't hit shift. Don't hit shift. Don't hit shift. Very nice tunnel though. Very nice. Very long. Oh, so long. We made it! Alright, I figure this is a good place as any to do a test. We've got his little ice tray here, or ice track, runway. So, let's get our hunger down to a little ways. I don't know how long this is, but we can run back and forth. At least get down to four. I think a pumpkin heals for four. Let's see. If I eat this, there we go, all the way up. So kind of on the surface, you know, it's like, well, steak heals for four. Pumpkin pie heals for four. They're the same. No, they're not. Not even close. So what I'm going to do, kind of cheating a bit by walking over here. 
We're going to see how many times we can run down here. With pumpkin, I'm only going to go to the top. I'm going to get my saturation down so that our hunger things are jumping. And then we're going to see which food is the better choice. Come on. Boing, boing, boing. That's pretty good, though. Tight fit. All right, here we are. We're down half a haunch. Just dropped. I haven't done anything since. We're going to eat this pumpkin pie. That'll give us a total saturation of the pumpkin pie in our reserve. And then we're going to run until our haunches start wiggling again. And we'll just see how good this pumpkin pie really is. Let's go. We'll see how many times we can run back and forth before that happens. It's not a true good test, because obviously me jumping isn't going to be consistent, but shh. There's one. Oh, we're already hopping. Okay, we'll wait till we get down to half a haunch again. There we are. We barely made it one. We made it one and a quarter. That's pretty awful. Okay, so now I'm going to walk to the edge here, and we'll do the same thing with Merrill's meat here. And we'll see. Just, we'll see the difference. It'll be outstanding. Okay, so we're going to eat one Merrill's meat. That'll give us the same benefit as pumpkin pie in terms of filling up our hunger bar all the way, but saturation is going to be a lot better, I think. All right, now we'll see how many times we can run back and forth. All right. There's one. Not even shaken. Atkins died all the way, people. Oh, yeah. There's almost two. One and a half. Oh. That's two passes. Let's try again. Let's go for a third. Oh, there we go. Two and a half compared to one and a quarter. That's like two times as good if my math is amazing, which it is. Int. So yeah, I mean, honestly, pumpkin pie, good novelty, but practicality, are people actually going to want to eat this? You're going to have to eat it like every three minutes, whatever you're working on, just constantly eating pumpkin pie, and you're just going to gain weight, you'll be all of a sudden 1,700 pounds, and you'll have diabetes, probably type 2. Not worth it. Stick to Merrill's meat. It's the better choice. Yar! All right, we're back at the tower. I made this uh, little cocoa bean farm just to get some brown dye. It's pretty basic. I've got a little mono stable. Introduces a one tick pulse along here. And that just fires this bottom row of pistons. And then the top, let's get up there. Top has this little mechanism here, which is simply a redstone block. So once that redstone block gets put up to there, uh, can we get up there? Will I stick in the wall? Perfect. hi -ya! So yeah, once that redstone block gets up here, it goes through this repeater. This repeater powers this block, which powers this redstone dust, which powers all these pistons to push back down. And because that first one's just a monostable, like a one-tick pulse, these pistons push really fast, so they're out of the way. So the top pistons can push down again. So if I hit it, come on, done. Now I have to replant them. But I don't know. Like, <laughs> it's producing pretty good. I mean, this I just threw this up as a basic design to get some cocoa beans. I'll obviously not going to leave it here. But just because of the state of the tower, we can't really put anything in the tower until we figure out where to put things and lay it all out. So I have been working on that. Let's get back to this Meryl meat business, because, I mean, I don't see what is cruel about this at all. Where is the cruelty? We've got little babies down there. Hi, guys. They're all friendly, hanging out. And then we've got all these other cows up here that are all nice and huddled together. Where, Where's the problem? Look how cozy they are. But he's right. This is... it. It's not the best 
contraption, really. So I thought maybe we could build a better one using what we've learned from this one. So since mobs are still pretty glitchy, let's see what we can do. Um, I'm going to leave this one for now. Yeah, someone asked for a tutorial on this one. Uh, this is awful. You don't want a tutorial on this one. <laughs> it's got a few flaws. Um, the cows gradually build up inside there. They don't all get flushed out like I wanted them to. So that's not ideal. Plus someone also mentioned, yeah, DocM has a tutorial, I think, on a decent one that him and the jail crew, I think, came up with, if it's the one that I'm thinking of that he mentioned, which I think uses minecarts to catch the babies, and then once they grow up, they automatically get burned. But we're going to try something similar to this one, where I just store them up and I'll mass um, kill them humanely. So what I'm going to try this time, um, let's see, I'm going to put the dispenser here, and that would have the bucket of water. That's where the cows are going to sit. And then what I want to try is if we put the piston here. Yeah. And then a redstone block here. Nope. I did that. Need to move that back one. Let's try that again. Piston. Redstone block. There we go. And then we can also just do this. Shut up, cows. We'll make a little bit of a perimeter here. And this is where the cows will fall. So the cows will be sitting on that dispenser there. And now if we could just make some kind of... Uh, I guess we could just enclose this a bit more. And we're going to need some signs. I think... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so then we got to trap the cows inside, which we could do like that. Now, I don't think... Will they suffocate? They might. We'll have to see. Alternatively, we can make some stairs. And do it like that. Make this tiny little... Um, let's see here. Let's get this going like that, like that. So that should hold the cows in there. Now, I'm going to try to just move those cows over to this machine when we're done, if I can. We'll just kind of flush them over. All right, so if we do that, and then we put a bucket of water in there. Let's get some signs going. We. Oh, that was a horrible throw. Horrible, just horrible. Uh, do I have any signs made? I have one. That will not be enough. Get some sticks. Let's get some wood. Um, jungle? Sure. Alright, we don't need that many signs, mind you, but let's make a few. I hear you, slime. I've heard you for a while now, and I want to murder you. Okay, good enough. Put all that away. Don't need that. Jungle wood. Go away. Uh, I'm smelting up some glass. So let's get that. Good. Oh, well, we might need more glass or signs. I'm not sure. I don't have this figured out yet. I have an idea of what I want to try to do, and we're just gonna see if it'll actually work. So we gotta power that piston still too. So we gotta figure out how we want to do that. It's just on the outside there, so. We could probably do it relatively easy, I imagine. Uh, let's get rid of you. So if we put a button... Let's see. We could just do that. It's going to be pretty ugly, though. But we could do that. Put that there and a button. And there you have it. And then here, I'm wondering how well this will work. Obviously, we can't put a sign there because it's going to get busted. Um, hmm. We could put signs along the top here, but then the... Oh, let's try it. It'll hold the water in. I'm not going to... I'm thinking the water is not going to be what pushes these guys out. I think it's going to be their collision boxes with themselves. So if we simply do that... We've got the water in there. If we get back up... Oh, I guess I don't have jump boost. Oh, now I do. 
and I hit that button, we get the water, we hit it again, water goes away. So simple as that. And we got 360 degrees for the cows to fall down. So unlike that one where they're getting stuffed in the corner, shouldn't have that problem. Now we want to have a collection chamber, which we probably want one wide again for intimacy and comfort of our lovely cows. So let's say they're going to land here, which will probably eventually be a hopper. And now here comes the problem. Once they're down here, they have the ability to get um, pushed around and they could end up uh, glitching out. So what I'm thinking to take care of that is we're going to do something similar to this where we just recycle the cows. So if they do happen to glitch out, they will just get reintroduced. A little stream of water will bring them back up. And I'm not too sure what the best way of doing that is either. It could be... Oh, that's my fortune pick. Could be... I don't know if we could, Like a water elevator, how well that works. With um, cows, to be honest. I don't think it works like a traditional one. I don't think you can just have a block of water, block of air. I think you might have to have it too wide or alterate, alternate. <laughs> alterate. New word. So we'll see. See how it works. Not positive. Again, kind of winging this. I've had this idea, but we're going to try to put it into play. So from here, we would want the cows to fall down into the pit. Let's make sure we've actually gone low enough. Um, more bricks. And we want at least actually a two block clearance, I guess, so that the cows, if they glitch out of this pen, which they may do, will end up in the water and can actually get thrown into the pit as well. So that could lead to problems. It could lead to us eventually running out of cows in the breeding area. But we'll have to see, I guess. So something like that, and then we're going to have to have water probably flushing them all into the center point. So we would need probably water sources here. Let's make it a bit bigger. So already this seems to have a problem. Well, the amount of space I gave it doesn't seem to be enough. So if we put water sources like here and have them flow into the center, and then we could have something blocking that hole, like a sign or something to prevent the water from being right there. I'm going to have to get some more blocks and I'll probably dig out some more of this and get it all ready for us to work on a bit more. So I'll be right back. Yeah. It's kind of ugly, but... It's a cow farm, not a zombie farm. Go away. Okay, I dug out a bit more. Also got oh, those cows. So so annoying. The really awesome. Okay, I got another dispenser, which we'll probably have to put somewhere. Well, this is too high, right? Is that what we decided? Too high. And we got to figure out a way to get the cows back into the hole if they fall through. So that's okay. So we got that going. Now, what I'm thinking is they will pop up along the side, I guess. Just get rid of that for a second. So maybe they will be reintroduced along the edge here. I'm not sure exactly how. We could create some kind of spiral thing, maybe, again. But again, I'm not too sure how... I mean, we could probably test it if we could get a cow and see how they how they work with or mob evaders. Hmm. Or we could just wing it and hope it works. <laughs> and then modify it. That part we could probably modify it once the thing's running. And actually once the cows are up here, that part is done. We don't really have to worry about them. Except for their incredible noise. So from here we would simply... I didn't get that many blocks. 
So if that's a corner, let's make this a corner, I guess. Or is it... Let's see here. Yeah, we get rid of all those, I guess. That's a stair. Let's make the frame of the thing and figure out how we're going to do it. Because I don't know. I don't know. Probably should figure it out first. But maybe we'll only get partway through and then we can kind of brainstorm on what to do next with this. Okay. Oh, out of haste range. So if we just get them back up there somehow. So from here, we don't need much clearance. We could actually get this down again. So right here would be the collection point, which is probably exactly where it was before, is it? <laughs> probably. I probably just broke the same thing again. And then we also need to add in a dispenser for the humane killing method of burning them alive. There we go. Now I'm not actually cruel to animals, guys. It's just a game. Keep that in mind. Okay. There we go. Uh, now, so if they glitch out of this thing, they will end up into this area here. This is going right back where I just had it, isn't it? Please tell me it's not. Lie to me. Lie to me. Tell me I'm pretty. Don't tell me I'm pretty, guys. Or girls. Alright, so there we go. Basic chamber right there. And then we'll probably do that. And then if they glitch into this block, I'm hoping that they will glitch out into this area. And then we'll probably have glass along here. Oop. Like a so. It'll be a nice little aquarium of moo cows. So let me see if I can figure out this water, because it'll probably be a little bit of messing around. And then I'll bring you guys back. Whoa, no, 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 no. Hi, guys. I just built that. Let's not blow it up, shall we? No, no. What did I say? No blowy. Not a good time for a blowy. All right, so I put the ice in, and I put it in like a crisscross. Makes you want to jump. Um, pattern. So I'm going to see how well that works. Like, I think the babies could just loiter, but if they ever get walk a little bit, I think it'll work out. I don't know for sure, though. We'll have to test it and see how it does. So it is kind of ready. And then up top, we got the water going. So they all just basically come up here, and then they should get pushed in back into the center if they do manage to glitch out. So we're going to leave it like that. Uh, I'm going to try to get some cows over. I'm going to use a dirt, and I'm going to make a little trench from the old system to the new, and just kind of release them and get them all over there. So I'll get that set up, and I'll bring you back when we're ready to do it. Okay, so I think I even made little water stream. We'll see. I'm pretty sure they're just going to explode out of this thing, but we'll see how well it goes. Get some stairs. Get them up this way. And then up. Oh, hello. What's this? Oh, God. It's not what I wanted. Oh, whoa. Hey. Let's get back up there, shall we? Uh-oh. Where'd that go? Oh, wow. Doing well. Doing good. Good stuff. Enderpearling is getting a lot worse. Most people get better when they practice. I get worse. Okay, let's get up there. Ha! And one last water. It's not really going to go anywhere, but hopefully we could push them in. Okay. Uh, let's just build this up just in case cows just explode all over the place. Alright, guys. Uh, I think we're good to go, and the water from the dispenser should shoot them out. Woo! <laughs> hey guys. 
That's pretty cool. Okay, if I turn this on, I think it should. Oh, please don't explode out of there. <laughs> this is fun. I don't know what this is doing, but it's hilarious. <laughs> They're like shooting and then flying back from the collision. But I imagine some of them are making it in there. Yeah, there they go. And they should just all push each other eventually. And into your new home, which hopefully I did right, and they're actually sitting where they're supposed to be. Huh. Nope, apparently I broke that. But yeah, there they are. Hey, guys. Perfect. All right, let me let this go and fill up. Can I jump up here? Ooh. Oh, I don't... I know. I don't really have a stream going sideways here, do I? Oh, well. I could maybe try to fix it, but it still seems to be working. Cows are going up. So I'll just wait, and I'll bring you back. Oh, miscalculated, I guess. Dead spot. All right. Almost done. Let's get some wheat. See how the breeding works. And I haven't set up the kill mechanism yet. But maybe redundant if none of this actually works. Hey cows, how you doing? You like your new home? Yeah? Nicer than the other one, isn't it? Yeah. Still cruel and un and inhumane. But we're just playing a game. Just a game. It's just a game. Don't worry, guys. Not actually cruel to animals. It doesn't make me want to be cruel to animals. These are pixelated food. Pixelated food packets. Okay. There we go. Done. Hey, guys. So now... Oh... No, it seems okay. They haven't exploded out of it, so that's good. Popcorn! And uh, assuming baby cows are falling. We hear noise. Come on. There's how many cows here, and I've only... There we go. We don't seem to be able to give all the cows wheat with this design. Or maybe I'd do it wrong. Boing! Oh, there's a little baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, babies. So they are still in there right now, but I think once we turn the water off, they should just all fall. Hopefully. Woo! They're everywhere. Hmm. Hard to see what's going on. I do want that to be back. Well, maybe we'll get in there first. So, I don't see any baby heads. And I'm going to have to kill them, because I think there's way too many cows in there right now. What do we got? Ah, only 119. So that's not actually too bad. I'll still probably kill them off. I don't want more than 100 in there. And then, what do we got down... Oh, it looks like some of them might have died? No. We've got XP somewhere. 40-ish down there. Okay, let's get out of here. Now, what I'll probably have to do is... wait around a bit and maybe do some other things, like unloading the chunk, wait for them to grow up, and then unload the chunk, maybe, and see how things go. I'm also, I guess, mm, no, I don't think so. I was wondering if maybe they'd glitch out and drown while stuck in a block partially, but we'll have to see. I can't tell what's going on. Uh, let's see if we can get a better view. Signs and water everywhere. They don't seem to be taking damage. So that part works. 
part we haven't really seen, or at least I didn't see, is if the water will bring them back in and recycle them if they glitch out. So we'll have to wait and see about that. I can get rid of that block. But yeah. So far, so good. Okay, the cows grew up, and you can see them. They're all floating up above. Now the question is, are they going to be able to fall down, or are they just going to be bumping each other endlessly? Let's see if any of them are actually falling down. So much things in the way. I mean, there's our folks grown cows there. What we could do is maybe get rid of a block, like that block right there, maybe. And then there'd be a little dip so that they could get in front of each other. I don't know if that would really help, though. Come on, cows. Stop floating around like idiots and fall down. Oh, one fell. So they might fall, just not all that efficiently, I guess. Because they're just bumping around each other, and it's just a one wide hole there. We could make it a bigger enclosure as well. But they'd still glitch out, I'm pretty sure. At least when they grew up. And right now, I believe they still have the hitbox of the adults. So I'm going to try logging out and logging back in and see what happens, if they like explode out all over the place or not. Mm, nothing more bad happened. <laughs> so yeah, just a matter of getting them in to the middle. Now is the water streams maybe not proper? Or are they? Looks proper. I think it's just because there's so many. They're bumping up against each other. And the chance of them being able to fit down the hole is slim. But not too sure what to do about that. I might have an idea. I'll have to wait till they're cleared out, though. I think it will work. Maybe. Hurry up! Get out of there! Push! Fall down. Yeah, I think just the chance of them falling down there is just too small. Alternatively, we could just murder these ones. That sounds like a good idea. Hey, guys. Oh, no. That was not what I wanted. There you go. See how it works. Why am I taking damage? Oh, I'm starving to death. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what's going on? Why are these cows attacking me? Oh, and I can't hit them because the sign. Seriously, come on. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. Let me clear this up. I'll make a small alteration that I'm thinking about, and then we'll go. I might not be able to test it right away, though. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of all this water. Probably get rid of this, too. I will reduce the sound so that you don't hear the cows so much, as they are incredibly loud at the moment. Okay, so what I'm thinking is if I... Hmm, let me get rid of this water, just because I have a feeling it'll mess up. Okay, so that's too high. So what if we do that? And then we'd need a sign right above their heads here. I really like having signs placed like this. It looks bad, but... And then... 
What if we put that there? Uh, I don't know if this is going to work any better, to be honest, but... Like, we could create... Instead of having them all come into the center, we could try to push them into a circular, circular pattern so they all flush at different spots, but... Oh. How? How did you get in there? What just happened? He was outside, was he not? Oh, I guess he just walked in and I just missed it. Okay. <laughs> that was confusing. I was like, he just phased through the glass. Where's my inner chest? Let's get some ice. Let's get back in there. Let's get that lit up. And then it's going to be an episode, I do believe. We might take a quick look up at the tower. I recorded some footage, but my recording failed because I ran out of hard drive space and I didn't realize. So instead of trying to recover that footage, I might just re-record re it. So what I'm thinking is that. That. No, don't put me in there. No, no. That and that. And then I'm going to put that back there. That will go around. Mm, that might be... No, well, the cow would just sit there, wouldn't they? Don't want that. Oops. Uh, no. No. Maybe like that. And like that. Break. Did I break through the back? I did. Bad pick. You don't make me happy at all. Okay. Now we might be able to just update the water. <laughs> there we go. Oh, no. That did so many things wrong. That needs to be ice. <sighs> Although I guess it really doesn't. But, hey, Tata. Let's try it anyway. Okay. All right. Attempt number two. Don't know if we'll get to test it this time, this episode, but we will see. Well, we could hook up the lava part. What we're going to do is similar here, except we don't have to worry about the pistons this time. Oop. That first step. It's a doozy. Okay. Get the lava bucket. Get rid of my inventory. I just want some redstone components. Shouldn't need too much. Might need like a piston. Depends how we want to do the monostable circuit. We're going to have to basically create two short pulses right after one another. So the f lava just pulses on and then off again. So it shouldn't be too hard to do. It would be nice to get it as compact as we can. Uh, I gotta get rid of stuff. Enter chest. So let me get that set up. Be right back. Okay, so above this block here is the dispenser. Now what I'm thinking is something like this. Might change it eventually or try to make it compact so it can all fit underneath the thing here. As I don't think this will. And we need some redstone, so that'll be our one tick. And then... Um, did I put the lava in there yet? So it might be a good idea not to. No, okay. So we will put a torch here. I'm going to leave that block out for just a second. We'll put a repeater here. And then we'll also put a repeater here, a block, and a repeater, and a repeater. And I'm hoping it'll be like one tick and then two tick, so shortly after. Now, I don't know if that torch is going to do a good job doing anything with that. 
Yeah. Torches suck. So I might have to do two ticks. Uh, well, let's just put that... Oh, let's see. Okay, goes... Of course, it's in the wrong state, I guess. <laughs> so we will do this instead. Like that, and then we'd have the torch there. So it's off. So what we want to see is on, on. <laughs> Piston. There we go. That does work. It's not too big, really. I don't know. We might be able to do it better. But now we can go ahead and put the lava in there. Put that block. And then what we should see is all those cows dying. Humanely dying from fire. See, what the fire does is burn all your nerve endings so you feel no pain. So even though they're screaming like they're in pain, they're really not. That's just them almost like laughing. Hee hee hee. It burns, it tickles. Humane. Okay, this way is definitely not working because the cows are drowning. I'm going to put those blocks back. And they're still going to be probably drowning down there. So I don't know. They must have popped out and went that way. We could maybe... Um, no, I'm not too sure what we could do about that. So yeah, the babies obviously can't get through this very well because they're just one block high. So it could try doing some kind of pattern where it swirls around. But anyway, I'm going to leave it like that. I moved the button over here, put a chest here to collect. Put some hoppers there. And hooked up the burner again. I just moved it over there as well. I care of the cows dying. I'm sorry, babies. I'm sorry. Yeah, I might look at trying to hide that a bit. We could maybe just do a bit of this. For this side, have it like that or something, and whoop, something like that, and it's hidden. Although that would probably look better if it was directly behind us, although it's hard to hit the button then with all the cows in the way. Okay, so, oh, and I guess this chest causes problems because the baby can grab onto the ledge. Troubleshooting. Okay, we're going to finish up the episode by taking a quick look up at the tower. Let's see what I've done off camera. Alright guys, I just edited the episode, so we are long. We're over 40 minutes, so I'm not going to spend too much time here or any time at all. I'll just quickly show you what I, I've done. Um, I have put a stairway on this side as well. I also got rid of the diagonal stair here, or perpendicular, as it was kind of too cramped. So if we're going to have a walkway walking around there, that stair kind of made it too tight. So we're going to make it so this is all floor, so that we can just walk straight through here. And it'll, be, it'll give us a lot more room to work with. And the floor, which you can see here. Played around with a bunch of designs. Initially I had quartz and the coal. And then I removed the quartz and tried some of the clays. I tried dark brown or black clay, which is very dark brown, and then brown clay. That kind of looked alright. I didn't really like it. Um, so I took that out, I put wood in, and then I had logs in, and I took that out, and I put this clay in. So that's what I got. Uh, I kind of like it. It's not too bad. I don't know. Not too sure. I like the pattern, just not sure about the colors. Also changed out all that uh, oak wood logs for some clay. I kind of like this new clay for walls. Looks kind of cool. Um, I really like the cyan color. And I'm a fan of the green as well, actually. So I kind of redid this wall here. So the stair goes down still. And then this is how this comes together. And I threw in some light blue uh colored clay there because i thought it kind of goes well with the cyan but not too sure looks kind of purpley but 
thought it needed some kind of color there. And maybe we'll make that a different color too. I'm not too sure. I duplicated the stairs going up this side, but I haven't done anything with them as of yet. I filled in this whole area just to make putting the floor down a lot easier, because over here I was having a lot of trouble. I'd break redstone, or I'd drop all the blocks into the hoppers when I was swapping them out. Um, I've kind of mapped out a bit over here with possible stencil for a new sorter that could go up here. So I'm not sure what we're going to do with this one, but this might be converted for clay, the colored clay, or sting clay, I guess it's called. Not too sure. And then whoop, we'll have another sorter up here for maybe redstone stuff, like redstone components, all that kind of stuff. Not too sure at the moment, or it could be for ores, who knows. Uh, the only problem with having it over here is the way I wired the, or piped the hoppers. So the initial starting point of the hopper is over there, and it snakes around here, double backs, I think, and goes there, and then it ends there. So if I had another sort of here, and I want it connected to that same pipeline, I'd have to pipe here, and then I'd have to get th th from there, all the way to there so it could go through the thing. So ideally this would be better suited over there, but with that stairwell there, it doesn't really fit. So alternatively, I might redo the pipeline between all these sections so that it's orientated better. So I'm just gonna wait and see how I plan things out. Um, I've got this kind of laid out for a balcony for maybe an upper area over here. So from this stairwell, you'd walk over and the floor would be one block higher. So I put this dirt here so I could easily just build on top of it. And then you could have a balcony here. This dirt here is kind of the space required for the sorting system to duplicate that. So it needs to be, it can go back, there's enough room to go back, and it would be up to there in height. So figured we'd have some kind of railing here, and then this could go up a bit or something, have another railing. And then we could even maybe possibly have a, we, I want a, I want a co-op <laughs> pretty soon. Um, this would be plenty of space for a co-op if we built it right above here. So that might be what we do. And if we do that, we could have this stuff for some ores, all the refined ores and coal, diamonds, quartz, all that kind of stuff. Because it would be stuff that we'd get from the co-op and it could easily, it would just, we could introduce it right into this sorter right here. And then maybe the sorter doesn't have to be connected to the other sorter, but it still might be nice if it's all one big pipeline. And that's about it. So yeah, still ticking away. Let me know what you think. Floor? I'm not too sure. I might try r removing the stairs and just pulling solid blocks, maybe. Maybe the stairs are what's bothering me, but something's bothering me about it. Um, I kind of like the other idea of the wood, since I'm using the wood for the stairs, and there's not too much options for stairs that we could do. Uh, I do like the coal, but maybe I'm overusing it. And the red clay I thought would just add some color, but we could maybe try a different color too. Maybe match the walls or something. Anyway, apologize for the long episode, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Or if you like episodes, then you're welcome for the long episode. All right, guys, have a wonderful weekend. And even though it's almost over, no, wait, Monday's a holiday, I think. Depends where you live. Anyway, take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>